Welcome back. All right, so third game we're going to review, and then, uh, yeah, the other 11 games I'll review together later. I, I might have time to do another video later on if there's some news to report for all you fine people on the internet, uh, in that there's no game starting on the half hour. So I've got my fingers crossed that there'll be a little bit of a break here and there. If there isn't, then that's fine too. Uh, you guys have got the third review, and then power rankings time. So, all right. Uh, New York Rangers, Pittsburgh Penguins, and yes, the 80s Magnets on the board because we had some goals today. Uh, Quick versus Jari, early pressed by the Rangers, or kept to the outside. The Penguins would score on their second shot. Uh, 236 is Ludwig. It's a screenshot from the point. Carter and Achari with the assists. They do not hold the lead for long. Uh, Kako, on a turnover, uh, scores from VC at 307. That was the first shot on net for the Rangers. And then they'd score on their second shot as well at 333. It was Fox scoring far corner on a net drive, Panarin and Trocek with the assists. And I thought that one probably either one of two things. Either you can say the defense didn't cover the front of the net well or Jari should have had it, one or the other. Uh, Penguins press for response. We get a power play for Pittsburgh. Latang has a shot that's saved. It's cleared out. The Penguins cycle. It's cleared again. Uh, the near miss for Raquel. Puck's cleared out. Power play's killed off. Two shots on that power play. The Penguins' power play uh, has not been good this season, so not necessarily a surprise that one gets killed. It would get on the board today, though. So, uh, Rangers press after that's done. We get a power play for New York. Uh, Zibanejad's stick explodes during that. There's a clear. Uh, the fans call one. The referee doesn't, so a little bit of booing on that. There's a shorthanded Eller chance that's saved. Things get pushy on a hold by Jari. Power play ends up being killed off. Brodzinski has a rush chance that save. Things get punchy in a hole by Quick. The shots are 6-5 to five for the Penguins with 9 minutes left. Panarin has a wraparound. That's turned aside. Uh, O'Connor has a slot shot that's saved. And then Rust wires one from the side of the net. Crosby and O'Connor with the assist. That's at 12-27. Ties the game back up at 2. Uh, Lindgren has a shot held as the Rangers press. Schneider has a shot that's blocked. It's cleared out. And then Panarin. And it's a turnover rush that leads to this one. Panarin with the goal from Trocek and Miller. That's at 15-32. It's 3-2. to two. It's still only in the first period. Uh, three goals on eight shots for New York to that stage of the game. Schneider then has a shot that deflects out as the Rangers press. It remains 3-2 to two after one. Second period. Sabanajad to Fox gets picked off. The shots are 2-0 for the Rangers. Two and a half minutes in. Uh, Bemstrom has a shot that deflects out. There's a net feed to Kako that gets blocked. We get a power play for the Penguins. Uh, there's an early clear. Malkin has a turnover chance that's held. A shorthanded Trocek to Goudreau pass. There's a near miss there. Uh, then there's a shorthanded near miss for Trocek as the Rangers had the better chances during the Penguins' power play. Uh, Crosby had a near miss towards the end of that. That power play's killed off. Two shots on net for Pittsburgh, and I think there was a couple on net for the Rangers during that. So the Penguins press after it's done. Uh, then there's a stretch pass to Lafreniere, near miss there. Uh, Achari's denied and close. The Penguins go back to the power play and early in it. And again, when your power play's struggling, it feels like it has to click early, and it does. Uh, Eller gets this one from Bunting and Rust at 10 minutes. So exactly halfway through the game, this score is tied at 3. Uh, Rangers look to respond. There's a post for Zach Jones. Uh, Smith with a near miss from the left circle. The shots are 8-5 to five Pittsburgh with five and a half minutes left. Rangers press with five minutes left. They end up drawing a power play, and that delayed call, that went on for a while. So things get punchy in a hole by Jari to end that delayed call. Yeah, the delayed call uh, only takes effect, the power play takes effect at 345. So, or with 345 left, I should say. So, yeah, there was about a minute there that the Rangers were playing keep away. And then Panarin buries a loose puck during that power play at 16:27. So early in that power play, they do score. Uh, Rangers go right back to the power play. I don't know what Latang said, but they threw him in the box for unsportsmanlike conduct. Um, these things do happen. Not usually at this point in the season in a close game that has playoff implications, but hey, uh, you got to be careful. So Fox has a shot to flex out, and then the nice tic-tac-toe play. Uh, the Rangers extend their lead to two goals. Uh, Zibanejad gets the power play marker from Kreider and Panarin at 17.30. So that unsportsmanlike conduct penalty for Latang very costly today for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, then the Penguins press for response. There's a post for Zibanejad in the closing seconds. But yeah, after two periods of play, it is 5-3 in favor of the New York Rangers. Third period. Trocek has a shot that's kicked aside. Eller had a 2-on-1 chance. That's held. 
Uh, Penguins press are kept to the outside. Raquel's denied. The Rangers rush the other way. Shots are 6-1 to one for Pittsburgh at four minutes. It really was all Pittsburgh for a lot of that third period. But against the flow of play at 441, Miller has a point shot that gets through a screen. Uh, Lafreniere and Panarin are, are the assists, or have the assists on that one. Uh, that makes it 6-3. to three. Jari was done, so Ndelkovic goes in. It, it didn't feel like this was on Jari, though. Like, honestly, this felt like it was a, come on, guys, wake up kind of goalie pull rather than a the goaltender isn't playing well kind of situation. That being said, though, it is six goals. You got to change something. Ndelkovic goes in. Rangers press at six and a half minutes. They do not test uh, the goaltender during that, though. And then Pustinen on a three-on-one rush. Uh, he buries one with a one-timer. Smith and Eller with the assists at 7.23. Uh, Rangers press for a response. Quick then poke checks Carter on the doorstep as he was going for uh, a play at the net on a net drive here to try to get a goal back. Um, teams exchange rushes. Raquel has a shot that, uh, that that's kicked aside. Penguins really trying to get closer in this game often in the third period. Um, the long stretch without a whistle, which of course favors the team with the lead. Uh, Penguins press with six minutes left. Eller has a one-timer that saved. Uh, Schneider has a rush chance that saved. The goalie pull happens with three minutes left. Uh, bunting is denied. There's some pushing after that. There was pushing on a lot of whistles in that third period. With 128 left, the Penguins call a timeout while they're six on five. Uh, Rust with a near miss from the side of the net. The problem is they're down by two, right? So they needed to get one early. They don't get that. And in the end, the Rangers do win this one because Kreider hits the empty net from Keandre Miller at 1942. It was a nice play by Miller to get the puck to him. Your final score on this one, 7-4. Not the prettiest win the Rangers have had this year, but they get the two points. Uh, they go to 44-19-4 with the 7-4 win with the loss. The Penguins 29-28-9 with the results today. They are seven points back of a playoff spot. Uh, it, it gets really dicey from here with only about 16 games left. It's, it's tough to catch up when you've got that many teams to pass and you're seven points back. But again, we'll see. Uh, they were the better team for large long stretches today. Uh, shots on net, 11-8 Pittsburgh in the first, 13-11 Rangers in the second, 16-7 Pittsburgh in the third. Final shots, 38-28 Pittsburgh. Power plays the Rangers 2 for 3, Pittsburgh 1 for 3. The hits, 16 apiece. Uh, quick, th 34 saves on 38 shots. The shots and saves don't tell you just how well Quick played. He had numerous game-saving saves early on and later on in the game as well. Uh, again, the Pittsburgh Penguins did outshoot them by 10. At the other end, Jari saved 17 out of 23. Uh, I don't think he had a great game. I don't think the defense did him any favors either. Nadelkovic only faced four shots after going into net, into the net at 4:41 of the third period, and he saved all four of them. So there you go, the New York Rangers with the win. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below regarding this game. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe in the event you have not done so thus far. Thank you guys again for all your support. I'll talk to you again soon.